It is a dramatic transformation. More than 100 million dead trees in California. It's blamed on years of drought and an epidemic number of tree eating bark beetles. KPI X 5's Devin Feely took Sky Drone 5 to Bass Lake up near Yosemite to see how the infestation is leaving forests vulnerable to a devastating fire. This is what it looks like as a forest dies. It's obviously a historical event that's occurring in California. We're well over 102 million dead trees. Years of drought have left California's forests critically weakened, vulnerable to bark beetles, tiny insects the size of a grain of rice that are causing big problems. Cal Fire estimates that more than 102 million trees have died during the state's historic drought, transforming large swaths of the state's majestic forest into tinderbox. Dead is dead, so they will not come back. There will be no way for them to come back. Removing them is important because of the fire danger issue. A normal healthy tree has the ability to fend the insects off, but the drought created a perfect environmental storm that left the trees and ponderosa pines in particular, because those are the insects' favorites, stressed and largely defenseless. When we have a drought, the trees don't take up as much water, so they don't have the ability to provide as much sap production, which is really what deters beetles and other bugs from getting in and killing the wood. And even though the recommendation is to remove the diseased trees, from Sky Zone 5, we saw entire hillsides covered in dead and dying trees at Bass Lake near Yosemite. Cal Fire is preparing for what could be a challenging fire season as the lingering effects of the drought continue to alter the state's landscape and raise the risk of wildfires. But that death of those trees that's occurring throughout the Sierras um, has a major effect and will for decades to come. In Madera County, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.